it will be recalled that the APC senatorial candidate for Zamfara Central, Kabir Garba Marafa, was one of the major factional leaders of the party in the state who reconciled recently and vowed to work in unison for the success of the party at all levels in the 2023 general election. Senator Marafa convened a meeting with leaders of his political movement from across the 40 local government areas of the state to reaffirm his commitment to the spirit and tenets of the reconciliation. He reminded his supporters of the position of covenant in Islam and the need for all of them to sincerely you hold on to it. Marafa categorically enjoined his supporters to come out en masse on 11 March 2023 to vote for Governor Bello Muhammad and the APC State Assembly candidate at the polls. We are approaching the gubernatorial elections on Saturday. So I want all of you to vote the executive governor for a second term in office on Saturday 11 March 2023. And all our 24 members of our State House of Assembly uh, this exercise that we are going to do is in recognition of the fact that God is going to hold us accountable for all our actions. Earlier, the state leader Marafa political movement Alaji Siraj Garba Mekataku reaffirmed their own alert solidarity to Senator Marafa at all times. Some of the participants at the meeting who spoke with NTA News expressed their readiness to extend the message to their followers at the grassroots level. So it's um, really a great event and great occasion. You can see the excitement all over the place. And it's a message of hope. Is a message of uh, encouragement. I think the message will definitely go to all the local governments. So as far as we are concerned, we have received the message and we are definitely going to fulfill you know, the, the message that all of us will you know, vote for Dr. Bello Motowale and all other contestants under the uh, uh, APC. The meeting was well attended by representatives of Senator Marafa supporters from all the 40 local government areas of the state. In Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.